Alright, welcome back to the channel. I'm King of Baden. In today's video, we're back playing Inscription. Uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. All this stuff helps me grow the channel. Uh, we're coming back to try and feed, see if we can beat Gamora now that we have a more filled out deck and understand the game a little more. Definitely was not really a starter area. But I only have two more of these tombs to, I think, get and place. I don't think, I think I've placed all the ones that I have. But this dog bitch should be a little easier to fight now. The fuck? When did I add this to my hand? That must have been part of the auto add, but that's definitely going to be helpful. Uh, I feel like I've already misplayed. <laughs> Uh, let me run that back real quick, actually. Yeah. I don't know why I put that sentry over there. I should have put it in front of the dog. That way it immediately attacked. Still did not want damage. Oh, let's see. I won't be able to kill anything before that comes in to kill me, but it will take the hit. So I won't take all that damage back. This will put us back to two away from victory, but that's going to put it. It's going to leave us where we are. So basically we're going to stay exactly at that point. Uh, that won't do any damage, but I don't want to just take that hit either, really. This card could take the hit for now. Activate, pay one bone. Do I have any bones? Oh, I have two bones. Okay. Why do I have two bones? Did I have two creatures die? Whatever. Pay one bone to create a skeleton in your hand. This card goes down for free. Uh, you just played a card with an activate ability. Oh, it's going to explain it. Cool. Okay. Oh, and it goes down for free too, huh? Let me get another one then. You're going to kill that when it comes in. Ooh, you dumb bitch piss actually no nah, that works out that's good because now it moves out the way that thing's still gonna move in and die immediately and we can take the dog out that was perfect okay let me figure out how to work with this sentry a little more f oh that kills that huh that kills that before it even does okay all right cool we should be good This does one damage all the time. This is the card that I really wanted because it's going to do one damage all the time. Plus insta kill. Plus if something moves in in front of it, it's going to take it out. Uh, I want to use a skeleton to get this down. And at this point, it'd probably be better to deal constant damage because it doesn't look like they're going to spawn much else in. But we did get past this dude who's scared of dogs. Now go ahead and tell me it's over. You chewed me out. Now, please look away. Turn your eyes to this card pack instead. I don't know why he wants me to look away, but he does look like shit on the ground right there. I am called Sawyer. The middle stone marks my grave. Please do not go digging up my bones. Uh, but, but, okay, cool. Uh, Sawyer Patel, eaten by a hungry dog, does not hold a grudge. That does not hold a grudge is a guess. And then we have Casey Hobbs, hit by a falling piece of ice. The defibrillators didn't work, because that kind of makes more sense. And I don't know how Royal Dominguez died, so I still can't say for sure if his is right. And that's why I don't know if the last... Oh, let's see. Found... You found a... Oh. Uh, brought down by Scurvy. Yep, okay. 
Makes sense, because since he is a pirate, huh? I guess the foul smell billows from the gas. I almost said gasket, casket. Oh. I have an offering. All right. We'll come back to that dude later. He seems like he's a little grumpy right now. Okay, great, cool. Now, let me check my deck first because I just realized that these cards just have different bases for how they summon stuff and they just added energy for this hand. Energy and gems for this game mode, but bones and sacrifice were already in. Okay, I'll be able to put this down next turn and then we'll see what we can do from there. Shit, this sarcophagus is doing way too much fucking damage. I'm gonna do two damages is gonna kill that. To deal one damage there, so that's fine. And I'll take two damage if I take that hit. Oh fuck. Forgot about that, huh? He's gonna die if it gets hit. Which kinda makes it useless anyways. If I summon this raven, it's gonna die anyways also. I might as well take the hit, the damage I'm going to take anyways. Oh shit, that's why. Well, Mantis guy could take out both of those. If I can get rid of that card, I could take out that card. Oh, mm. Let's see. Right. That'll kill that. I'm gonna take three damage. Right, so I'll take three damage, I'll be fine. Marvelous. An opportunity to use my quill. The fuck do you mean? This one will be back. Okay. Ah, oh, that's right. She did say our cards don't truly die, right? Damn, I can't put either of these down. Um, but it's only going to deal one damage. I'm going to do one damage. No matter death is never. Okay, cool. So she's writing them back in. Hopefully they don't come back with the ability of Mantis guy. Cause that'd be shitty. Is that five? Is five a loss? I don't know. I don't know. I definitely need to deal some fucking damage though. Uh, I can't put that down yet. Shouldn't have put that there. Well, that's gonna. No, it's not even gonna protect from the damage. One, two, three, four. Not enough. Although I could use it to take out the sarcophagus before it comes in. I think I will. Oh no. Hmm. Because if I deal that four, it'll give me more time to actually live. So I'll take that out immediately, too. I feel like this. Oh, did I die? No, no, I'm still good. Whew, that was close. Okay, so. That sarcophagus will deal three damage to me. That's the issue, is the sarcophagus dealing damage. But if I take if I take two damage, I lose, so the sarcophagus can't hit me. I have to hit it. Uh this will take out the dog as well. Shit, it's gonna come back in a second. Okay, well the bear's gonna deal four in a second. This flyover is kind of shitty, but that three damage is still gonna be worse. Okay, cool. I was like, why isn't it moving? But it started panicking for a second. Uh, I'm gonna win if I hit again, right? One, two, three, four, five. No, I'm gonna be one short. But then 
That be, should be cool if I just hit twice. The bear is actually a pretty good card. Ooh, that's exactly what I need. Uh, oh, Bone Dog leaps to defend. Okay. That's fine, actually, because now I'm going to win. That's even better. Great. My goal was to just take them both out at the same time, but fuck it, whatever. Oh, shit. That was only phase one, wasn't it? You're halfway there. I fucking hate you, bitch. Damn. Yeah. As corpse. Oh, okay. So they're free now, but they don't do shit. Um, let's see. I could. Yeah, I should be able to just like kind of blitz them, basically. Uh, cause. Okay, let's see. I want this to be the last card to go down. So I'll put you down. Tribute it. So you can't come in, sure, whatever. Because the dog's going to move over there, anyways. Uh, That's one damage. And then you're two damage. And then that's five. One, two, three, four, five. So we should be able to kill. Great, cool. Cause I'm not trying to fight whatever shit she had planned out. Oh dear. Yeah, bitch. Fuck out of here. All right. Well, when your deck's actually kind of optimized, or at least you had a hand in making it, it's a lot easier to use. So, well, let's not count the first two or three tries I had. To be honest, I wasn't expecting either. Okay, cool. So basically what she just said is I'm going to come back through here and fuck all of them up. I'm going to be King Scribe out here. Yeah, you lucky I ain't coming for you yet. That stout was what she was nice as the sting bug. That's why I, that's why I didn't come for her first. She got spared Ben first. This is the one that I was kind of not really dreading, but just what I'm most interested in actually because this is the one that has I think the weirdest mechanic because you have to put down a different card to put down the rest of the cards and then if that first card leaves some of those other cards might leave too greetings if you are reading this it must be because you wish to challenge me Magnificus to a card battle but in order to earn that privilege you must first defeat my three graduate students as for their whereabouts, that is for you to discover. Sincerely, Magnificent. They better be in this fucking castle. That's all I'm saying. Let me get this fucking, uh, what is this, a monocle? Of course I'm putting that shit on. Absolutely. Look at me now. Yeah. Inside's gooey. Ooh, this one adds to the energy. Let me, um, I'm going to equip that card now, actually, because it just fits too well. And this one wouldn't be bad. Does this go down for free? Can't be sacrificed. Well, Bleen's Mox is on the board. It provides fluid. Okay, cool. I want more ways to summon greens than I do anything else. I'll take it with me, too. That's weird. That definitely wasn't like that a second ago. Oh, oh, the monocle. So it's changing how we see stuff, huh? Just like with the the square eye. I guess this is the, the trader. I haven't traded much though, honestly. I'll take another one of those if I oh, can't afford shit, huh? Oh, broke ass. What is this? What is this thing? Is this just my collection? I guess so. Oh yeah, I guess I didn't expect this. Uh, I saw a flying thing. Oops. Let me just check this again. 
uh, skull, flight skull. There we go. Oh, was this the slime elemental? Ew. Okay, I couldn't figure out a way to do like a bubbling voice or anything like that. But basically he's saying that he's in a lot of pain. All his orgs and stuff are good for his final exam. And uh, he has to defeat one more challenger to pass his final exam. And then he'll be get his spot in Master Magnificus's deck or whatever. Yeah. I knew the master, or not the master, but this Magnificus was finna be a fucking bitch. All right, uh, the green power of the mage equal to the number of green gems that the person has, and we're gonna make that a fucking zero, bitch. All right. Uh, and this dude to be safe to go down now. Yeah, get him out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Play that. I definitely don't play that. Um, I guess this dude's just gonna move back and forth and hit those. Uh, I don't have bones. Okay. She fucked that. Yeah, I'm gonna do that too. Uh. I'm just locked dude out, huh? Uh, ba ba ba, kill stuff next to it, huh? Okay. Ooh, don't wanna take that out though. I'll take that out, cause it'll, well, actually no, that'll just be defense for when that car, I kinda blocked him out too good. Like I blocked him out so good I can't, uh, what you call it? Well, I'll eventually take out whatever he, ooh. Won't explode by dies. The creature opposing it will, uh, as well as adjacent friendly creatures, are dealt 10 damage. Damn, that is significantly better than I thought it was. I didn't know even know it was from that attack either. I should have got rid of that for this. Um, I mean, we'll just do two damage slowly, and that's fine. Oh, wait, can I? I deal extra damage out of nowhere. Doesn't look like it. Cause I can't complete this circuit yet, which I might have to, oh wait. Mm. Well, looked at that at the last second, like way too late, late and wrong. Oh, I've been in half those cards too. I could have been and tried to circuit. No, please. Uh, I'm finna take this pack and then you're finna dissolve dog. There's no way he's finna let you back in. You just tried to lie about him too. Not even lie about him, but like lie to him. That dude definitely sound like he's in pain. I can only imagine the uh slime princess is like I don't want to say grovel, but that's kind of more what it sounds like. Like her complacent or like Urgh. that's kind of what I hear in my head when dudes complaining. Uh what was it? The end of the owner's turn, Grave Digger will generate one bone. I'll take that. Oops. I take this. The dummy stares lifelessly back at you. Then suddenly it springs into motion. Oh, didn't expect this. I guess it's a little bit of a bonus fight. Oh shit, what the fuck? Uh, when Mrs. Bomb is played, fill all empty spaces with explode bombs. Great, didn't realize that. It destroys all, everything around it. Okay. All right, cool. So bone fly. I still need the third one. So I have to intentionally not beat dude. 
Should have put down a drone a second ago. But I'll use it to... Ooh. Hey, what the fuck? Okay, so bone bird push. Here we go. Oh, this dude got fucked. Just imagine you're an ice cube slowly melting on a hot pan. Oh, I was only talking to myself. The pain of being a head impaled on a spears. Well, it is worth it, of course. Magnificence will award me the highest honor. I will be the centerpiece of his day. Ooh, these people are delusional. They sound like the people that went with Orochimaru. Damn, if I had a sentry, that'd be nice. Because I can take out this card immediately. Uh, no box cards on the board. Yeah, this both of these cards need a box card. Uh, this dies, a ruby mox card is created though, so then it repower this one, but it's, mm, yeah. Okay. I can't even put that down yet, huh? Uh, will this be good? Right now? No. No, it won't. Because it'll kill me. With this spot right here, it's going to kill me. Although, it wouldn't be the worst. And it is pretty much the only thing I can do to retaliate. And all of these cards are going to be taken out. One damage is better than uh, whatever else I was going to take. That's going to make another Mox card when it comes down. What does this do? Cards on the owner's side of the board gain one power. Mox cards gain one power. That's going to gain one power, but it's going to kill itself if it kills me. If I kill this card, it's going to, what you call it, deal damage back to me worse. No, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, back to even now. Oops. Well, I should have left that further over. That's on me. Okay, so now we got it now. Cause that's four, six, seven damage right there. Yeah, cool. Would we just fight? Okay, spear lady. I don't think any of these people is gonna make it to the deck to be honest. They don't seem to be that great so far. Last girl, centerpiece girl, definitely at the best, was best so far. Cannot lie. Oops, damn it. Well, they don't, it makes sense. It's basically a spiral staircase, but this is still shitty. That's not how they usually do it. Empty. I feel like this is a mimic. Nope, okay. Sigil is found by the pale. The bottom sigil is found by the hard of hearing or by those who hear too easily. The top sigil is found by the greedy. Okay, let's see if I can figure that out then. Set the bottom one's found by paling. Okay, well, let's try looking around the map some more then. 
I still feel like this. Oh, shit. I was close to getting this one. I walked like all the way up to it and then turned the fuck around. Okay, so skull. But which one would that go to? Let's see. All right, let me read these actually. Uh, the note reads, the middle sigil is found by the pale. Reach, oh fuck. Wow. Oh yeah, that's on me. I kind of, I opened that, read it, didn't see that sigil in the bottom corner. If you saw that uh, down there before, leave a comment. You better, because that one's just dumb on me. It took me forever. All right. Uh, the bottom sigil is found by the hard of hearing or by those who hear too easily. I looked this one up. I'm not going to lie. Uh, how do I do it? But I, I guess I could have figured it out slowly. But it's the digger's pail. Found in the the menu of the game, which I think was pretty clever. Uh I'll have it checked. Oops, whatever. All right. At last, stimulation. It's, what the fuck is happening? This dude's definitely gone through the worst of it. My test has been sensory deprivation, you see. I don't see. To unlock the full potential of my mind, you see. It's unlocked now. Hear, my, hear me, Magnificus. I'm ready. We have to battle, okay? Okay. Cool. I like that card, to be honest. Um, this... I'm gonna wait. I might take a hit, but I'm still gonna wait a second. Uh, if Jim Fiend's owner controls no max. Okay, so I have to take out that card to take out this card for free. What's this? Uh, and pay three energy, the power and health of the stem mage goes up by one. Okay, this is fine. Oh fuck, that's gonna fly over, hang on. Oh no. All right, let me just restart. So even if they beat me, they still have to stay here. They're just, uh, can't, I mean, you can't really help it. Guess I don't take that two damage. I don't know why I'm playing these gym cards so hard right now, but that should kill that. That's going to fly over me still, though. Um, I won't be able to put down another Mox card if I get it, but this should still be fine. Oh, I can't sacrifice that card, huh? I can this one, though. Is this a Mox card? No. Okay, so it perishes immediately if there's none. I can't take that card out. Wait. If a creature would attack that card, so I can fly over it. Okay. I can't sacrifice that card though, is the thing.
Cool. Great. That was incredibly stimulating. We we aren't done here, all right. I wish to see the light again. To, to sing, to dance. You wouldn't leave. What do you? Yeah, I'm fucking out of here. This dude's creepy. Uh, it's the f I'm I'm not fucking with anything in this tower. These guys got way too cold, too way too fast. Cause all they really want to do is be painted by some old dude, basically. 